and you're sitting at home doing this shit, and you should be honor a medal for this. Stop fucking around and be a man. There ain't nothing out here for you. But yes, there is. This. Yes, sir. That's right. The Dirty Dozen, number 12. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was trying to think about what 12 was going to be. Right, Dirty Dozen. Yeah, Dirty Dozen. Right, yeah. Well, 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 we ain't going to get dirty, though. No, no, no. We're pretty clean. Pretty, for, the, for the most part. Right. Sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> no disrespect to podcast. We back again, episode 12. Uh, this one is about uh, Parenthood. Parenthood. Mm. Parenthood of 2017. Oh, yeah. Shit is different from how I was. We'll get into that later. Yes. Let me first start by saying this is no disrespect to podcast, meaning we know we no disrespect to anybody, or anyone, because we actually care. We actually love. There's no hate here. You know, we may just disagree with what happens and give our opinion on it, but believe, believe, we only do our thing for y'all and for us and for everybody. It's all love here, all right? And with that being said, I'm always bouquet the American dream, and I'm always blessed with Miss Sunny Days. And this is Cool Ass Trav, and this is No Disrespect Podcast, Episode Twelve, The Dirty Dozens. Dirty Dozens. That's right. Parenthood Two K Seventeen. Yeah. So what's going on, peoples? How we how we loving? How was y'all week? Weeks. Weeks is good, man. Everything, man. Everything's good, man. Just counting backwards right now. Down for what? This kid, man. Oh, it's almost time. This kid. This kid is, whew, is my focal point for like the last few months, man. This is, this is getting real. Like, I don't know. Like, sorry, guys. This is my first child. I'm old. <laughs> this is my first child, so I'm hyped. And, you know, because I, I feel like I got so much to teach him, man. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. Mm-hmm. Tell me the stories. Yeah. That's my advice to you. When he understands, though. Right. I ain't gonna tell him I, I ain't three. Like, yeah. You might. I think. I think. I think you got told him now, cause you get to yeah. that. It's everything is a spontaneous. Soak it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't wait. Yeah. How would you know when he would understand? Just oh, tell him from the beginning. When he's a baby, you sit there and talk to him. All right. Well, listen. I'll start telling him if, I, if he say he like little Uzi, I'm gonna break this shit down to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sit your ass down. <laughs> listen to this shit. <laughs> Uh, no disrespect to Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi, bro. <laughs> Lil Uzi. Yeah, that shit is kind of. That shit. It got a melody. It's definitely. It's catchy as hell. Yes. I, I, I heard, heard that shit on my way here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. All my friends' dad pushed me to the edge. <laughs> what the heck I can do? Oh my god. Sunny, how your week looking? How was your week? Uh, my week was good, actually. It was really good. I did a lot of trainings at work, which means I was out of the office, um, which means I had a great week. Um, That's good. I spent a lot of time working on my personal goals, um, my writing stuff for my yeah. my um, my blog FM Hip Hop Radio. Check them out, um, and that was mainly what took up my week. I hate you. Yeah, your show is live, baby. Yes. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Um, second week, second week. This was my second week. Um, I like ya. So I'm trying, you know, get it going. Oh shit! That shit is. Shout them out, man. Let them know, man. Yes. Where to find them? Cause American I like- Dream Radio, man. DSN Networks. You know, we stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, Monday, Wednesday from twelve to two, twelve p.m. to two p.m. and eleven to one on Friday. So you can come down. You know, the hashtag is you can sit with us, share your lunch with us. Mm-hmm. That's know? dope. So yeah, that um, cool. yeah, my second week. You know, I'm kind of like. Over the hump, over the you know, the right. butterflies and shit. Jitters. So, and it's I'm still learning now. at the same time. So mm-hmm. it was all good, you know. I was thinking about the shit earlier, and I was like, oh, this is my internship. Pretty much. This is like this is my. If I were to write a book, this chapter in my book would be my internship, and this mm-hmm. would be it. Like right. the podcast, mm-hmm. the radio, because all this shit is like no there, there's no rule nobody wanted to show you how to do nothing mm-hmm. you just have to figure it out yeah, you gotta wing this shit you know that's like life right so yeah <coughs> like Hamilton. Yeah, pretty much right yeah. so you yeah get so, to that? um yeah I'm, I'm i'm good i'm waiting for this third week um mm-hmm. every time winter come around i gotta figure out a new way to be sick and then, <laughs> and then friday i gotta Ebola. figure out another way like they gotta kill for Ebola, Ebola, so you know Oh, and I gave my resignation to my job. Oh yeah, so, hey. you know, shit. Me, uh, almost, got, um, I'm almost there. Um, I'm basically following the dream, so I can't right. really let yeah, right. it. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta follow it. Like I don't, I feel like I don't follow it now. The bills will be a right. the bills is a, a dream killer. 
Mm. Yeah, like, yeah I'm not bill. even worried about the bills. Like I would like I was like I have to do it. Right. And that's my motivation. Just having having to do it. Yeah. I'd be on the train like that's a long fucking walk from the train, but I'd be like, this walk is it. Clarity. It's your thinking time. <coughs> yeah, and that just shows like, like, like me motivation because mm-hmm. a lot of time people be like, a lot of people wouldn't do that walk from the train to that studio, mm. and they'd be like, nah, I won't do that. You know, <laughs> even even my car coming from Brooklyn to the Bronx mm-hmm. with no car, he was like, you know, so I got to do it. You know, right? Um, it's worth it. It's worth so, the trip. I know my next show is going to be basically from ten to two. I can see my I can see myself doing the whole afternoon, mm-hmm. well the morning into like the afternoon. Late morning, right? Right, you know, dude. That's what that's what that's my goal. I wanted to do a morning show, mm-hmm. but I also want to because morning start at like five. Right now, yeah, you got to be up for the niggas that's getting up. But I want I want to touch the people at work, right? Because I understand, mm-hmm. yeah, because, frustrations, right? And you know, you just want to yeah. unwind and shit. Yeah, yeah, right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Coming down with something. Hey. I'll be out Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Like, look, he was sick Saturday. Right, right, right. I was right. with him. Right. My supervisor off like, what you need me to do? <laughs> Go home. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. right. All right, before we keep going, we got to give a shout out to our uh, guest from last week, Mr. Kareem Nelson. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shares against guns. Right, right, right. He's showing his love. Up. He's showing love back, as always. Shit. Because, uh, we about man we about promoting others and promoting ourselves sorry right. so shout out to him because he was our first guest mm-hmm. and he you know shout out to him because he got really a lot of great feedback from that shit. Word, yeah word. that was a dope interview like we really not, not trying to sound like i mean no, no, you no, might no. sound like, <laughs> sound like it. I mean, <laughs> you know let, let, let it go let yeah. it go let it, it go yeah. 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 Just, just in case you missed it you might want to check yeah, out you so let it, check that out i'm just saying but yeah, I, shout out to him because he definitely came show love, show support. You know, a lot of people wouldn't even have done that. Right. right. Because, you, you know, think about it. People are like, oh, y'all too small. We don't know y'all, which I got to offer. But it starts from somewhere, so. Right. Shout we out to him it. again. And you can what? Wheelchairsagainstguns.org. So y'all go check that out. You need help. Apartments, he said he does. He does um, lectures at schools and things yeah. like that. So Motivational speak. <coughs> mm. I'm gonna have to get some water. I got some. Not water. This is help though. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna burn so <coughs> loud. It ain't gonna burn. It's, it's <laughs> take a little swig of this, my man. See, we got this is wine. This is wine. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to be a father. I'm keeping it classy. You know what I'm saying? I swear, wine be smelling like piss for some reason. No, it don't. It smells like. <laughs> don't smell like grapes. He's like, don't kill it for me. Look, like, don't, don't kill it like for me. Grapes. I smelled piss before. <laughs> we all we have. <laughs> <laughs> no. What else going on this week? Um, oh, my God. You know I do the show, so mm-hmm. my shit is normally sports. So I'm going with the calves. So that's, I'm just. You going, going with the calves? I'm, I'm, going, going, I'm rocking with the calves. So. You're going with the calves. I am. Both of y'all going for the calves. Mm-hmm. I'm going for the mm-hmm. land. What's you your pick? I'm going with the Lord's Day. Really? They have, they have. This is, gonna, this is gonna be the most exciting is it? fucking playoffs that we had you in a while. So. And why is that? This so is that like year? Bulls versus Blazers here. No, yeah. This is like Lakers versus Celtics. It's more like that because these are the two top teams right now. Right. About, and they've been the top teams the last three years, obviously. Right. right. So, so you, I watched a clip of yeah. Michael Jordan of, of the Bulls playing the Caps before LeBron was a teenager. I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. who would have ever known? These niggas would be in the playoffs and the finals at that. I mean, they got the best player. LeBron James is the best player. I don't like him for personal reasons. Right, oh. we know. What I've heard. Yeah, it's personal. It's personal. Long time ago, it's, it's no the old three thing. You know okay, what I'm so don't worry about it. And no, no he, he also shunned me in back in 2010. He shunned you personally. Personally, they don't. Tell. I don't know. If you know LeBron. Tell him to come on. <laughs> right? Like, wait a minute. I'm missing. He might sponsor this shit just like he paid homeboy. He won't have to fight first before you give him. No, 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 no. Listen, if it's LeBron, we're not gonna. Play. Y'all need to talk now. You don't fuck it up because I got right. him. He ain't gonna remember. I, he ain't gonna remember. I beef anyway. I'm going with Cleveland. I want you to fuck his knees up. Nah, I ain't gonna. <laughs> nah, but um, I mean, I mean, it's getting kind of redundant right now. These stupid teams. Mm. This is kind of crazy. I mean, maybe because well, Cleveland you know, is not a super team now. They're super team. Not like that's a, not like Golden State with Kevin Durant. It's the, both that's teams. a super duper team. No, they're both super teams. 
They both super teams because at the end of the day, you got. I know you got Kevin Love, you got Kyrie, mm. you got Jr., you yeah. got. Shumpy, no, not Jr. No, we're not talking about them. We're talking about just those three you mentioned. The rest of them are role players. Okay. Now you got um, you got. Um, they got a big Curry. Fall. You got Curry. You got uh, Durant. You got Clay. You got Draymond. He's a role player, kind of. Because if you look at his numbers, <coughs> he don't make outstanding numbers. That He's just the heart of that team. Is furious. He's ready to go. Well, when when did I, the final start? Thursday, yeah. June first. June first. Yeah. June first. So uh I'm going for Golden State. I, I really don't really go for nobody because I'm a Knicks fan. But what you gotta pick somebody out of the, I, out of the yeah. two that's there. Yeah, Fuck yeah. you, nice wow. So yeah. let me ask you this. So you're going based off of my like personal issues my or hatred. skill? I'm okay. I'm gonna be all too honest. I'm gonna call it hatred. Okay. So you gonna hit him more if he went. You gonna hit him more if he wins? No, because he can't fuck with my man Kobe still. But anyway, that's me oh. being up there. Because you know he broke Max record, mm-hmm. playoff points, mm-hmm. and this is big. Max, it's very big. But people feel I'm gonna get mad. Shit. I'm gonna get mad dislikes for this. But guess what? It took him 33 more games to get those points over Mike. But Mike, thirty-three more games. Okay, I got you. He's but Mike, Mike though. Mike, Mike's era you know? is different. Wow. So this is new NBA. These niggas okay. ain't taking the hits that Rodman was exactly. coming down so, with the so elbows. They didn't even allow him to do half-ass stuff now. They no. can't even curse. You can't, like, no, you can curse. You just can't call him the F word. You can't even yell at the ref the wrong way. Yeah, you call him. You call, uh, Kobe called the ref the F word and it was bad. Right. He had to pay for that. So the Where does that money go? But I want to know. I mean, when you I find know. a motherfucker, because this is a mm-hmm. billion dollar company, why the right. fuck you going to need a fine? Like, where's this money going? Does it go into know. the actual For what? team? A, a, a cheeseburger is what, 15 mm. ounce? What is the fine for? Where's that money going? I don't know. Somebody stealing. That's what I was saying. <laughs> you know, Somebody stealing. Where's it going? But you know, that whole, that whole thing is it's all about. I mean, you can look at sports as kind of like modern day slavery. Yeah, most definitely the com- the combine is the auction. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know, the, 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 see the how big they are, yeah. mm-hmm. and the draft yeah. is basically with the slave owner. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go. They used to call the NFL um, <clears throat> niggas for lease, or niggas for loan. Damn, something like that. Yeah, because they feel like you know they just pretty much pimping them or, or buying them. Seattle will buy a bunch of motherfuckers dudes that's going to work for them for put their body on the line just to make the money mm. speaking of yeah. seattle they got, right yeah they got they got my boy the rebel the rebel yeah um cabinet i want him to come to the jets <clears throat> he might have i like i like, didn't plexico, I like cabinet then plexico come to the jets we got plexico right out of prison right we was after we when we walked out of the gate we had the contract like, so what was his charge Shooting himself. Shooting himself. And then we got Mike Vick. Damn, I kind of right out of the prison. Now. <laughs> like, oh, you, the judge. No, 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 no. He went to the Eagles yeah, first. Yeah, the Eagles. We, we all get all the convicts. I'm surprised they didn't sign me. I did something for them. Handed out towels. They didn't know how you. I gave them fresh markers for the clipboard. Oh, Sharpies. Sharpies. Fresh yeah. Sharpies. Like <laughs> I had a fresh one. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Vick retired, there, right? Nah, he about to take another. He about to take a one day contract with Atlanta just so he could retire with as her. a Falcon. Oh, them white people ain't gonna like that. They can't stand that that dog killer. <laughs> I messed up. They, you know, white people care more about pets than black people. So he gonna retire as a uh, Atlanta Falcon. Like that really means something. There's a lot of fucking black people in Atlanta, by the way. Right. It's but a lot of they, white people too. Yeah. That whole damn. You yeah, know, I'm just saying. They love their pets. They so how do you think this Kaepernick will move to Seattle? It's a big break. A I, big break. I predicted this. I was on my show. I said if he have if he had if he was on Seattle when Russell did that bullshit and threw the ball instead of ran it in, they would have won a Super Bowl. No, so who no. else is on Seattle with him? To I think Beast Mode is back, right? No, Beast Mode is not back. I th- if he does, he's. I think he might go to the Raiders. He might be going. To He'd the be the wrong black man in Las Vegas. Yeah. No, it's pretty quiet. You know, so it's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. I mean, he's, he's pretty. Oh, quiet. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, but he. No. They moving. To, they moving to Las Vegas. Yeah. Suppose. No, but allegedly, he when he was in Buffalo, he's a play for Buffalo. He had a letter, a, a yellow Lamborghini. In <laughs> Buffalo. Yeah, he had a yellow Lamborghini, and he ran somebody over. <laughs> this is a legend. This is a legend. And it said Beast Mode on the thing, and they ain't charging. <laughs> 
ain't charge him for shit. How badly? Did he give the lamb all away? I don't know. Probably blew that shit to I know. Out. I just know Kaepernick three years for twenty five million is great. That's good. That's a good deal. You got, he might not get no burn though. That don't matter. He'll get. He gonna get some burn. He he burn. burn. You know why he gonna get burned? Russell, because Russell, Russell Westbrook, Westbrook just had the baby. Russell Wilson. Oh Russell yeah, Westbrook yeah. I'm, I'm bugging. Russell mixing, Wilson. Mixing, yeah, yeah. I'm, rushing, I'm mixing the Russells. He just had the baby. Mm-hmm. Um, Football season's about to start. right. No, I hope he don't. I hope he don't. He never get no burn. He never starts. He's not going to start. I hope you don't have to see Avocados. You think Sierra, Sierra damages? You know what? Hell yeah. Oh. Hell fucking yeah. What'd she do? You see what she did to Bow Wow's career? Bow Wow oh. did. He was born at me. Okay, 50. <laughs> Yo. What did he do to 50 career? The music career, by the way. He what? was. His he music 50 career. realized that music wasn't his strong suit. And he was like, I'm going to take this business thing and run okay. Exactly. I just Pretty hope. much. Because you. you <coughs> yeah. I'm just saying. He's gonna get burned. He's gonna do it. No, yeah, don't put no that burn. in the universe. Maybe it's gonna make him no, better. No, no, meaning that means he's gonna get played. He's gonna play. I don't think it's gonna Oh, play. that's a good thing. You don't think they're gonna so be gonna a backup? He's gonna be a backup. Of course, he's gonna be a backup. Because if, for order him to play, you gotta wish you wrong on battle with Russell. No, oh, but there's gonna Russell be times Russell. where Russell, his, he's not always on point. Kaepernick be on that point. He's on point. No, he's, but he's not always on point. Let's get that is nice. He is. He's not always on point. Oh, curly hair, fair skin, motherfucker. Did you see that <laughs> like, that play that he lost the Super Bowl with? He, he didn't call that play. So what? So what? What? You gotta follow. If the coach tell me to do something. You gotta do it. Nah, you. But you then use your brain. No, you can't just nah. do that. You I'm can't just, just do that. Cabinet You're not paying man. Made a different, mm. He would have made a different play. Nah, man. he would have okay. ran it in. Okay. He would did a Vic move. He did. He did pull a Michael Vick. And Michael Vick was not. Nice oh, guess what? Running. Kaepernick played Russell Wilson in the Super Bowl and he lost. We gonna see. We gonna see how it is. So like, we have to remember this conversation. So no, yeah, I'm gonna remember. Yeah, I remember and, that Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm saying and going forward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying yeah. like uh, going nice. forward, we have to remember this so we can follow up and say oh, yeah. who was right. Oh yeah, most you guys yeah. are like. I don't think Seattle's gonna win the Super Bowl. No, no. it's gonna be Patriots and whoever. Mm-hmm. It might be Patriots in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Now they got him. Is it too soon to make predictions? It's going to be the Patriots and whoever. No, I don't think it's going to be the Patriots. It might be the Patriots. I fucking hate the Patriots. It'll be the Patriots. Who do you like? Wait, like, what team the do you Jets. like? That's it. <laughs> this, New York team. this New York team. That's it. I mean, I'm sorry. This is the thing people understand. I was born in New York, mm-hmm. so I'm going to only go for New York teams. You know the Jets are not in New York. That's they are. Technically, they, That's they are. are. New York Jets? The New York the Giants team. don't play. In New York. No, the Jets don't play in New York either. They, none of them do. That's what I'm trying they to say. They both play in Jersey. Right. right. But the Giants to play at Yankee Stadium. At you know East. what? I'm done. Okay. okay. But anyway. I'm right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this sports shit. I, I'm, it's it's, it's, it's real. too hard. Like, it's, it's too hard. It's, it's too hard. Hard. really yeah. too hard. I cannot I cannot go for anybody. I'm New York. I'm New York everywhere I go. So I'm not going to be New York in sports. I almost got in trouble. I was in Baltimore with my, my uncle. And this motherfucker dressed like a raven. He just. Um, I'm like, are you a raven? Just nigga. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you can, you fucking crazy, nigga. Get your ass out of here. He was like, you don't be yelling at people for their tears. Like, I'm New York, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? I almost got jumped in that park. I ran through Hill Park too. Mm-hmm. Nigga was dressed like a bird. I got in his face. Nigga, jets, nigga. What are you talking about? Yeah, a whole. I get busy whole though. That, that football shit is straight. You look, he wasn't in Florida with that dumb shit. The niggas are hungry. No, <laughs> Florida has nothing but football on the brain. Fanatics. Yeah, they hard by like hurricanes. They lynching. They 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 raise their kids to lynch. That's how it is. Texas and football. Texas too. I ain't going to Texas. I don't you like Texas. Texas. Yeah, I've been there. It's hot. I'm not going back. It was hot and I couldn't find it. It was me. hot in Texas in the mad. fucking winter time. Yeah, yeah. the season's under I was see. burning the fuck up. Man. Then when I came back home, I had to make a pit stop in Detroit. Det- How you stop at Detroit? But the plane flew past New York and went to Detroit? Yo. Why the fuck I ain't stop over here I'm first? I'm not the pilot. This nigga crazy. I'd have been like, wait, you just flew right past my stop. I'm not the pilot. Nigga went on the limited plane? When I came from Texas. <laughs> he was on a select plane. <laughs> right. The pit stop was Detroit. So when I got off the that little gap between the plane and that little stairwell, it had to be like ten degrees, and it was fucking um like 
the playoffs for the Super for, for no. football. No, so you went from I was hot. I was like this and that. Hot to cold immediately. What did you Wait. have on? I had this wool jacket on. I had, I had this. Oh, so you were prepared? Yeah. I, I, oh, okay. You know, that, that, that was my travel jacket. I'm sorry, I'm a woman. I'm like, what did you have on? Dress warm? Like, I was like, I'm never going to Texas again. <laughs> it has to be a great opportunity for me to go back. I want to go to Texas. Texas is, my, my father lives out in Texas. That's why I went. I'm not going to just be like, where you want to go? Texas. Fucking no. Texas. <laughs> That's I mean, a good fucking beef, though, pause. I want to I try that food. That's no good, y'all. It's cool. It's good. Okay. Yeah. I, had, I had a mean brisket. Oh my god. I had some brisket. That was good. I had a burger too. They they ground the shit right in front of me. Like crank the shit. They killed the cow too. I wish they would have. <laughs> they don't get no motherfucker better than that. Oh my god. So what else happened? Um that damn Ariana Grande concert. Yeah, the bombing. That was terrible. Niggas is crazy. Yeah. Niggas that was is terrible. crazy. I heard that shit and I was I was hurt on it because then like cause first thing I thought about yo it's nothing but kids at that concert. Yeah. yeah. That's not in the How old is y'all? How old is every young guy? 23. Yeah. And she known for being on Disney and shit. And right. 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 Cat and some shit. Right. And she know all the teeny boppers and little girls are Ariana Grande fans. Mm-hmm. So the only person you targeted was probably kids, man. And that shit is fucking terrible. And the thing about it, last, the week before that, you had this crazy nigga downtown with the K2. Yeah, that shit. 42nd Street just that shit was driving crazy. down. And now you got this Ariana Grande out in, um, England, Manchester. Manchester, yeah. And I'm like, wow. Like, what the fuck make a person wake up and say, I'm going to do this shit today? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking. I be mad. I be at work. I be mad. Like, fuck it. I call people assholes and dickheads all the time. Mm-hmm. But not enough to be like, I'm going to blow this whole fucking plane up. I'm going to hold this whole train up because I'm mad. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's that's some deep, 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 deep rooted hate. Or it could be yeah. deep rooted stupidity. Mental health. Nah, that's what I think I think a lot of that terrorist shit is weakness. Me, yeah, it's mental health, but they 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 embed that shit in your brain. Yeah, it's fi- you're fixated on yeah. a particular yeah, yeah like do that. that ISIS shit, they put that in your brain from young. If you watch those documentaries, you see them kids walking around with AK forty sevens and shit. I see that shit at all the Lucy stores. No, nah, but I'm saying probably <laughs> in those third world countries it's prevalent for real. Like they here, take this gun and I just want to know go. why they so mad. America. Why are you so mad? Because America all right, let me not talk bad about our own country. No, 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 no. Um, you can talk bad about this country because at the end of the day, it's still not gonna sound as bad. Well, okay, so imagine now mm-hmm. that you're in this other country and you basically have been raised, like you said, from a young age, to hate us. Your hatred has grown and you have mental health issues. And now you have this American pop star come over and you're like, yo, they always Manchester, come here. Manchester, England, though? Doesn't matter. It's not like you went to Saudi Arabia doing some shit. But it, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. This is my thing. Like, you hate America. Why? Because your country is not like America? No. No, they it, ain't, it ain't, it ain't us. We are. Cause they fit right in with the ghetto. Right. They fit right in with the ghetto. Exactly. They don't fit in with Trump's. Right. And the Trump support. But they've been doing this shit percent. for a while. And but the image that they have of us is not true. it's not us. It's the the image that's shown on the news and the media. That's the image they have of us. So they're not looking at it oh, like yeah, well, Joe right. Smoke. They ain't never blow you know. the Styles P concert. Right. Right. They not. <laughs> See, they're not gonna go to MOP, CNN, Noriega concert. What are your concerts? They ain't gonna go to none of my shit. They ain't gonna go to none of my concert because right. they already know. Right. Shrev Nation concert. You ain't people. never gonna go to none of that shit. <laughs> MOP gonna have whole Brownsville on there. You ain't gonna go to none of that shit. Yes, it's true. Mm. They ain't gonna have military too. Right. <laughs> I don't care. They just got military. They gonna have good music though. Right. Yeah. My thing is, out. how do you fuck do we tell our children about this? Yeah, how do you explain it? That's that's because you having a kid, right? Right. You having a kid real soon. Soon. And parent parenthood for us is different. Raising a child now is different from us being raised. Yeah, because I used to get my ass whipped. You can't do that to your kid. You can't whip ass. No. You got to whoop them in private. I mean, that's still... I ain't get my ass no. whooped in the street. No. I got my ass whooped okay. in the house. But then you can't leave marks on your kid. Why? Because if your kid goes to school, <laughs> so I'm, I can't sit down and see, because my ass is red or it hurt. I got see, a mark the on it. Then you'll be getting an ACS call. It's not even just the marks. You, your kid can go to school and say, Mommy hit me, Daddy hit me, and it's an issue. That's a, a call to ACS. Kids is just spiteful. 
Nowadays. We've been spiteful. No, I ain't never speak on it. I just hold through. She said, I sat down all gingerly because my ass hurt. My back hurt. My uh, arms swollen from blocking the broomsticks. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, like, what's, what's the good age things that our ass will be supposed to be done? It depends on the child. It depends on the nature I, of the behavior. Okay, my son is six. Can you get ass with him now? It depends on what he did. Oh, man. What did he do? Give a scenario. Let's see. Let's my son is a manipulator, so he don't do shit, but he... He think I don't know. You're talking. Right, he think I don't know. He's a scammer. That he's he, he, he he a fucking that? scam. He think I don't know, but I know. Where do you get that from? Where do you think you got that? Um, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> but right. he know I know. Pretty much, mm-hmm. they get it from my parents. Right, right, he know, and he be sitting there like, yeah, I got him. Mm-hmm. I, I know he do. And that's not worth the ass for. It's not. Unless, unless some, something major happens behind. You know, he ain't burning the skin, you know, turn on the stove, he ain't messing yeah. with matches and shit like that. See, my big thing is when my son's gonna be school. Mm-hmm. That's you gotta do really. your motherfucking work if you wanna get paid. Let me ask you a question. Because I know you. Mm-hmm. And I know you are a smart motherfucker, but. Right. You the same person got locked up right before graduation. I know. You better tell your son that. Because what if he's... He's going to mention that shit to you later. Like, pop! Mm. Um, excuse me. Mm. Didn't you tell me a story about the time you had the crutches and the cast on your leg? And you got arrested a week before graduation? Because I was selling dope. Allegedly. (laughs) Allegedly. Allegedly. (laughs) You already said it. Look. (laughs) But now, this is my thing. I feel examples... Are usually the best teacher. Okay. Now, before my my son get to college, I mean, before my son finishes high school, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a degree in college. That's what's mm-hmm. up. But that, I mean, that's that's how I like. Well, I got my degree, so I know one of the things that you know I promote with my son is you're going to college. My son wants to go to college. He thinks he's going to college for football. Mm. Aww. I don't want to put it in his brain that you know you're going to go to college to play football. If that's the case and he does, then yes. Right. But get that education. I'm not going to be like, oh, you in college. Get, you know, you got the scholarship. <clears throat> You're going to be a football player. No, nigga. Mm-hmm. Pick a, some, um, pick a, a career, major, a major yeah. that you, you think you, you, you're going to like. And use football as your meal ticket. Right, yeah. Get that free education mm-hmm. off them. Don't let them use you, you know. See, that's the thing. I was I was just thinking about that. Because I, I, my girl stay in Babies R Us. I was in there today. I, was, I swear to God, I've been in for the last. Did you buy it? What you bought? We still, we still catching them gift cards, man. Okay. We still mm-hmm. catching them in. But anyway, I just be walk. I be wondering. Like, damn, what's my son gonna be into? That's 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 the, the beauty of it, though. You don't. Yeah, know. it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Yeah. But I know, usually children following their parents' footsteps. Not all the time. So let me tell you this, because I have three kids, right? Right. All three are different. Thirteen, nine, and one. Yeah, please, the please tell us how you deal with the 13 year th- Well, my 13 year old. Go with the go start off. But right, bring it down. So, the 13 year old has special needs, mm-hmm. but he is still a 13 year old. Mm-hmm. He has an attitude problem. He slams doors. He communicates when he has issues the same way a 13 year old was. The same way when I was 13, I, I had I wasn't slamming doors. No, I was I swear to God, I got I my ass, ass I, You know what? I think. I wasn't slamming doors. I, was I, was was I wasn't even looking at my mom. I would not even raise my voice. <laughs> nope. I'll talk about my breath. When now, I go to the store, I won't even say Am nothing. I doing it wrong? No. I, think, I say shit in my head, anybody. No, but listen. <laughs> so my, let me say this. My son is non verbal, he can't talk. So. By him slamming the door, I think he gets a pass because that's his only way to be able to express that he's angry. So when he does that, I do react. But you know, but I don't just I don't even cut you off. If I was a special needs child, mm-hmm. I slam the door. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm, if I was nonverbal special need. You this is before. Your mother, don't say that. Look, Listen, I, I, I love you, Miss Perry. I love my boy. Do not. But well, I can guarantee that. you, if no. I was a special needs, non-verbal no, child, I slammed the door of her house. No, she wouldn't. I'd have been verbal after that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have <Ouch>. been. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'd have been that deaf kid. Mm, mm, mm. I'd have been that. I can't do that because sometimes I have to. This is before my mother was into the Lord heavy. <laughs> I'll get my ass You got to decipher That shit still ain't stopped them ass but whooping. This, this, this is back to the whoopings, right? You got to decipher sometimes when is it worth it? Mm-hmm. Why is the child misbehaving? Did you do something? Is it them? You can't just go hit. Because hit don't 
right, make you them have, understand what know, happened. This like, is, I'm so glad I'm at this age now, and mm-hmm. I'm this person I am today, because I've been abusive. Because yeah. I've been abused. I was abused. Like, yeah, I think we all got our ass whipped. No, child. I was abused. Antoine Fisher ain't got <laughs> shit on me. Now, let me ask you something. How do you feel? Like, what's going on in your mind right now? You about to have a kid. In less than like a week. About a week. In about a week. In about a week. About a week. A week, 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 week and a half. In a week and a half, you're going to be. You're going from Pookin American Dream to Andrew. Andrew the father. Andrew. In a week and a half to a father. Now, and I'm saying this because he's going to be a living person in your house. A new person. Well, I mean, I a person a that you know. It's not the same. A person you don't <laughs> hey, know. My cat. My no. cat's got a damn attitude. But this is a person you don't know yet. I know. They don't know you. Mm-hmm. He know, you know me. And the only reason why I say that because when my son was being born, I was talking to my girlfriend earlier. I had all type of shit going on in my mind. Right. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh shit. I'm going to be a father in three months. Mm-hmm. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? My main concern was how the fuck I'm going to teach him to tie a shoe. Mm-hmm. Like, who does that? Right. Because I'm like, damn, who told me how to tie my shoe? I don't know how to tie my shoe. Mm-hmm. But I know how to tie my shoe. Mm-hmm. I just can't remember who taught you. Who told me how to tie So I used to ask her, like, yo, who, who told you how to tie a shoe? Like, where do you learn shit like that? I had points with, with her where I told her things that she said, why, why did you tell me shit like that? I said, I just had all type of anxiety, mm. um, nervousness. I was just going through it like, oh my god. Yo, you know yeah. my it's only real, problem. Though. My only thing that really bothers me is that my son's gonna be here. I just want to know how I'm gonna teach him about his mother, my my mother. You gotta show her pictures, cause you, I know your mom's past. You gotta show pictures, and you gotta tell her. Like I keep telling you, tell the stories. Yes. Tell tell the story that you told us. And you was Bobby Brown, using all the lotion and all that. You got to tell them those stories. To be Bobby then, you got to be Bobby now. Yeah. Right, but you got to tell her the story. You got to tell her the good, the good stuff. Cause that's the, that's the only <coughs> thing. like as much as as much as good things going on in my life, and I'm so happy. I just wish like I had got this shit right when she was here. You know what I mean? You you got it when you was supposed to get it. Right, it was meant to happen. Yeah, it was meant to happen right now. So that's the only thing really my like. I told I told my girl I tell much all the time like listen, it's about to be two of us in this house, cause I know my son gonna be just like me. Oh, why well, told her? You, you know. may be shocked, and no. you may be just he, like he might her. be like her. That's gonna be bad. I, no I, disrespect to my girl. <laughs> yeah, she has an attitude problem, and I don't need to walk around with two though. That's when. Listen, it happens. I think my son gonna be cause I realize cause I look at my father cause mm. I see my father he came for the baby shower, and I realize. Even though he wasn't much in my life, I'm just like this nigga. Just like, like him. It'd be like that. Right. So, and I'm not like, when I seen him, I, I didn't see him in 17 years. I got, I've grown up, I did mad shit, and then I go out to Texas and I see him, and I'm like, damn, me and this nigga just alike. So I'm figuring the same thing, and my brother and my father is just alike. So I'm figuring my son will be the same way. Yeah, I think, like, possible. if he does bad shit, and it's funny to me, I'm not going to fuck with him. Nah, you still have I to. Can't, I can't, I can't. What's that to do with that shit? No. If he do some funny shit, I'm going to be like, yo, you got to do it. I think that shit is hilarious. I think this shit is hilarious. You're going like, to find a, a barrier. My, listen, if my son came home dressed like Bobby Brown in school, like I did, I'm going to laugh. See, let me tell you something. Your son ain't gonna be dressed like Bobby Brown. Uh oh. He gonna be dressed like future a little Uzi Vert. No, the fuck he ain't. Okay, I'm telling you. He not wearing no fucking carry on. But and, this is what and, happened and when you were Bobby Brown, though. No. Wasn't that the reaction you got? No, I, nah, I got all the no, girls. No, Bobby Brown was a little different. Bobby now, Brown was a little different. Go Bobby back Brown to... was man sexy. Oh my god. He wasn't trans sexy. Oh. <laughs> Just but <laughs> you got you got you, okay. You got three kids, two yes. sons and a daughter. Yes. Yeah, your, your oldest is autistic. Yes. Thirteen. Yes. Second one, the second oldest is how old? He's nine. How do you deal with these people? Um, Cause these are people we talking about. Right. Um. Basically, it's day by day because each of my kids are totally different. Um. I could I could tell you all of the traits that they have that are similar to me and similar to my husband is a joke, an ongoing joke in my house. 
that's you. No, that's you. That's just like you. We do that all the time when our kids do. No, my, I do that, my I know exactly what you. It mean. is most of the time when they when they fuck up. It's not. It's not the good stuff. Maybe when they get an award for reading, I'm like, yes, you know, I'm a journalist. You know, hey, oh, okay. you know, okay. but the bad You're stuff. Disrespecting his education. You know, I'm just saying. But the the, the bad stuff is when you're gonna be like, that's me. But that's what I'm telling you. You're gonna have to find boundaries with still being able to chastise and laughing. I laugh so much behind the scenes with my husband about the stuff that happens, but in front of the kid, it's like, yo, you can't uh, do your homework. Uh, do that. But we in the background, we're like, yo, that's me. I was the same way. You, you know, want to have more kids? I did um, until my daughter, who is now 19 months, hit around 15 come on, months. Come on, come on, come on. I we, don't anymore. Yeah, we, we are. This is not a federal judge. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> one. Yeah, it's a one. No, no. I had to specify. One I had half. to specify like, for a reason. Half. I specified the months for a reason because it's wow. only within the last few months that I decided I didn't want any more kids. Okay. That's because her behavior one. changed. No, her behavior started changed. Tweaking. She started fucking tweaking. <laughs> My daughter is just like me. So me at that age. Well, two and a, two and two two boys and a girl is good. No, it's, okay. So let me say this also because my son has special needs. He's thirteen, but in a lot of ways, he's also the same age as my toddler. Yeah. So the two of that together is like I have twins, mm -hmm. and then I have a nine-year-old who thinks he is the smartest person in the house. Mm -hmm. So it's always a uh, uh, what are you doing? Da -da 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 laughing type thing. It is the most beautifulest chaotic thing I've ever seen anybody that ever asked me how my kids are doing I always answer bad I do not say good and I don't mean bad because they're doing bad I mean their behavior is bad but I also I follow up and I say they're bad but that's how I know they're okay because my kids are bad all three of them and every in a different way the, the middle one is manipulative but he's also a genius and he loves art um, they, you know, the oldest one is like MacGyver. He can sneak and break into anything. He can get into any computer system, phone, okay. whatever it is. I need an intern on my show. <laughs> <laughs> right? He, he likes the DJ. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it, that's, that's and, the, and the baby, beautiful. she, she, I don't even know what she's going to blossom into being. But right now, she's just like the smartest one-year-old I've ever seen. And it's kind of scary because I'm not sure what a one-year-old is supposed to do because my other kids kind of had special needs, you know, so, but she is just so kids special. kids now, this, she just, this is my little thing about kids. They're going to be smarter than us mm -hmm. of the strength that they have a lot more information at their fingertips. No, they're going to be smart because they're going to they learn the parent before the parent learn that. Yeah. My laptop was a damn encyclopedia. A bundle of them shits back in the day. I right. said, Ma, what's this? She said, go look it up. I had to go in the damn encyclopedia and this shit. E, e got to go to F, then nah, to go back. It, it would have to go. Now to go like this. That doesn't have to change for Jackson. You could still give no, him that, a book. Give him a book. The encyclopedia, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not handheld. It actually is handheld. Because you could download the app on mm -hmm. your phone and actually still do the same thing we was doing. Right. It's just a quicker way to do it. Right. Because I still go, I downloaded. Uh, the dictionary app, and I'm always looking at words like right. how to spell. Cause I Me be too. my old last night, I'd be like, oh shit, I forgot how to spell that, and be sitting there like this. Right, T H. Yeah. And looking stupid. But this is this is the thing. See, like I like how I figure like, cause I got a friend. He about to be a grandfather. <laughs> Shout out to him. You know who he is. My man about to be a grandfather. Shout oh, out to him. At thirty. Congrats. At thirty four. Right. Congratulations. Oh, Congratulations. Anyway. No judgment. He always he he's, he he takes it there. That, I, I love him though. I love him to death. That's right. right. Things happen. Right. He probably be the best grandfather ever. He's thirty four. He's, he's still the young. The flyest grandfather right. I know. He's he gonna be the only the grandfather part? that got their grandchild tatted on him. <laughs> so my grandfather had my name tatted. My grandfather had gray hair. It was the only shit. But these the he changed the game. But anyway. <sighs> Kids is fast these days. Yeah. I think because I always blame the internet. And nothing wrong with the internet, but I blame them because I think about back in the days. Mm -hmm. We had one porno tape. We had to pass the shit. Pass the shit, pass the shit, pass the shit. I thought you were going to say something like dial up computers. No, oh, I'm book? talking about yeah, a porno. Right, right. Oh, I got it. Got it. <laughs> And they say I'm they the one that always goes dirty. Like, computer because they computers, so, sorry, sorry, but computers is the fastest way to porn ever. True. You ain't got to pass the tape. You can't lose that shit. 
This shit right there is a the dollar button. Uh huh. That's why I feel like kids is fast these days. But it's all about how you teach Everything them. Everything is available right there at the click of a button. But you Everything. Can teach them that it doesn't have to be a click of a button. The power of a book is faster. Or, I'm sorry, not faster. It's more important than a click of a, of a mouse. And so that's what you book. have to. That's what, no, okay. No porn at all. Can we eliminate no porn? porn? No we porn. No porn. education. You got to focus on education. That's kind of you know, you know, education. You know what's going to happen? Those months are going to go by fast. Before you know it's going to be winter time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your next step is going to be daycare. Because okay. you all want to know who the fuck is watching my kid. Right. That's next. Mm -hmm. And you live all the way up town. Right. So there's going to be some private Jamaican. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're going to have to focus on... The, you ain't got to worry about no, no porn, none of that sex shit. You got to worry that. about that shit. Not Why? now. You know, you're not having a girl, you're having a boy. This is true. If you see, had a girl, then all you got to worry about is keeping her off the pole and keeping dicks away from her. See, that's hard. I think having a girl is hard. Having a boy, mm -hmm. you got to make sure his dick don't go in and nothing crazy. See, but that's good because, see, with a boy, you worry about one dick. With a girl, you got to worry about exactly. all the dicks. No, mm -hmm. I don't agree with that statement. I think it's, it's that, that was a biased statement. Okay. You should worry about your, your husband. You should worry about your son's dick being in multiple pussies too. We do, but, but you no, have no, to. No, we. You do. You yeah. Do, because I gotta school my son. Right. Because I. Because he started like, my son is different. He started put on cologne sometimes. Yeah. Let his motherfucker wearing right. shades like he yes. knows. <laughs> he's, he's cool. He's cool. Like his dad. He, right. like he has. He's gonna have his own style. That's why I wouldn't name him after me. I had this thing like. You didn't have to though. My, you're gonna have your own mm -hmm. identity. You're yeah. not gonna have my name. He is, I don't got That's what I'm trying to say. Minus one letter. That's it. No, Matter of fact, it's, it's a letter, but they just extended it. It's cool, but it's him. Okay. Your your kid's gonna be your kid, and you're gonna have to figure out like, like you said, what is he into? Mm -hmm. And what we was into, they may not be into because they be like, why well, you be watching all these old movies? Right. Nigga, it's nothing else on TV. I watched Shaw Shawshank Redemption last night with my That's one of my favorite movies. And I watched it with him. And he actually sat there and was asking questions and was going back and forth. And he watched it. With, I made him put his phone down. And we watched the movie phone. together. How old is your son? Got nah, phone? he just got his phone. Oh, yeah. phone. Yeah. See, that's another thing that worked. Because Trey want? wanted to be on, on um, he wanted to get Instagram and Snapchat and all no, that. No, he, he doesn't have any of those So, won't well, check it. Let me tell you. We go on, um, I don't think I was going to go today. And he walking, we walking, and and he was like, "Mommy, can you get Instagram?" So she said, "No." She can, she said, "He said, can you download Instagram or, or Snapchat on my iPad? Mind you, the iPad is mine." Oh, he D blocks right? you. Like D block all all day. Mm -hmm. So she was like, "No, because I have to monitor Snapchat and all these social mm -hmm. media joints, so you can, I can monitor it on my phone." My son, being my son, says, "You can't monitor that on the iPad." Couldn't even. Could, it was no answer for that. There was no answer for so that. You're telling me what? you're not a good enough parent to be able to monitor it. Nah. That's what right. phone and like he got it. I'm in like, 1990, hey. it'd have been an answer for that. Oh. Back slap. Who you talking to, boy? Black out. Okay, 1990 BCW was really. I didn't well. know the number. You had to really be like whipped like a slave or hung <laughs> from a tree. <laughs> For them to really file a report. Right. If somebody drove by mistakenly and seen you back slap your kid, because they said, I'm well, my, you can't monitor an app mm -hmm. from the iPad yeah. that you take anyway. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm looking at this, I'm like, he done got back slapped. That's that's, that's that's me. Your son. Let me. Let me tell the story. That's your son. The other day, two weeks ago, I was in T-Mobile. And my oldest son, the old one with autism, was having a complete meltdown. When he has meltdowns, it's physical. It's not because he can't talk. So he wants to fight. He's scratching all of this. I'm in T-Mobile. And I'm like, oh, my God. They're going to think I'm beating my child. All it's going to take is for somebody to take their phone and go, look right. at that. And somebody can see that and interpret it as me. I'm trying to restrain him so he's not beating the hell out of me. My son is 212 pounds, 5'3". Right. So I'm trying to restrain him from beating me up. But from the back end... What was your husband? He was the, he's trying to get finished with the, the, purchase, the, the phone purchases so we can leave. So, but... It, we both know how to handle him. But I'm saying interpretation from a standpoint of somebody on the outside, it'll look like I'm manhandling my son. Mm. But I'm, I'm a trained... 
I'm not gonna say train. Well, I'm trained because I'm his parent, and yeah. I know how to hold my son in a way that's not gonna hurt him. Mm -hmm. I'm not hitting him. I'm not yelling. I was calm, but on the outside looking in, and that's what happens nowadays. It's not just yeah. with your interpretation of like chastising your child. It's somebody else's interpretation, and now with social media, like I said, all it takes is somebody to record you, which you think is not that bad. Somebody else to say, "Oh no, look what he's doing. Right. That's horrible." You know why are you doing it? Got that business. See, but nobody called BCW when I get my ass. Nobody. A yeah. BCW worried probably beating the shit out of their kid. Mm. See, that's the thing. Like when my son was born, I was like, you know, you know, you know me. Yeah, I know. We we we, we tease kids. We talk about kids mm. all the time. So you know, when I would go to the hospital and see, you know, the development of my child, I would have to ask, like, yo, do he got all his knees? You know. Well, you need two like, knees, cause so, you have so, to. He said, you like, have you gotta have four knees, man. Now you gotta have that. I was like, you sure he got you, everything? Like, <laughs> he got both fuck? his feet, he right. got his all toes, right. all all right? You only need two knees, nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying. I you know, and because and because I was my whole thing with that. I used to, sometimes used to talk about people's kids. There you go. You know, or I just. You know, I see a picture, be like, damn, this motherfucking kid ugly. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't worried about kid, my kid being ugly or anything like that, but it was like, uh, I did a lot of shit. This and is the thing, because they always say, yeah, that shit gonna come right to you. Mm -hmm. So, they say, I heard that so many times. I would ask the doctor, yeah. like, I never tease nobody. No, I would what? ask the doctor. You were so good. I was so bad. You know, like, I would tease, like, be in school, you teasing, I tease a kid that's my age. Nigga, mm -hmm. I, like, you yeah. go to the special ed room. And, and, and school and laugh at them motherfuckers. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh you know what I mean? So when you have a kid, a lot of shit played back. I'm like, please God, let this. And the only thing I was like, once he came out and it was here, mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit. Now, now it's the experimental stage. Right. Now it's like, all right, I gotta wait till this nigga get a cold mm -hmm. to see how that work. Mm -hmm. Uh. You know what is he allergic to? Mm -hmm. You know, man. This is now he got like my son has asthma, so it was like, all right. Uh. How old was he when you figured out he had asthma? Between one and two, and between mm -hmm. those days, you know. And you know I mean, so that was my that was my only concern. And then like when he was here, like I will, I forgot I had a kid sometimes. Mm -hmm. So when I go shopping, I would be like, all right, I'm gonna buy me a pair of sneakers. Then I get a text like, yo, we need more diapers. I'm like, yeah, I just bought you diapers last week. She like he doodled in them. Right. And I'm he like, used them. Yeah. yeah. I, just did, like, I just did all that today. For all the diapers. I'm like, dang, he got a lot of diapers. He gonna do like, every single No, he don't got a lot of diapers. Mm -hmm. You think To that's us it's different. Like, like I was like, wow. Yeah. I don't think I really got the hang of it. Till he was like two or three. <laughs> I had to really put a put a, put some shit together, like, okay, I gotta buy this nigga pampers every week. First of all, I gotta stop calling him a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, but I see this is my thing. My word for him, I'm like this kid, because everything right now is just this kid. Mm -hmm. You know, because every time I come home, I look what he got. Look at this kid that wants to do it. Mm -hmm. I remember when my son was waking up in the middle the of the night. That shit used to kill me. He just got the damn um, Space Jam Jordans. This kid got well, them shit for me. Like, right, it's, it's, cheap to, it's cheap now. It's cheap. That's fifty dollars. If you had to, fifty dollars. You had to give him advice on um, one thing. That you that nobody ever told you. Oh shit. That you oh, feel that I need shit. it. I need it. Come on. Yeah, man. that I one one thing that somebody um, never told you. No, nobody like my mom told me that, like no, one thing that you know that nobody told you. Mm -hmm. I um, need this information right now. That nobody told mm -hmm. me? Shit. Like there's really nothing I can tell you. Well, guess what, guess what, brother? You the godfather. So when I need help, you gonna be the first person I call. Okay, I got you. Um, I'll tell you what's somebody? You go ahead. He's scary. I got a tank. Like, because he's a guy as well. Because you know a lot of guys. Do. But he's involved though. Yeah. He's, he's and a that, dad. Absolutely. And he's that a great dad. But yeah. that's the main thing I think. Without somebody telling me, just being involved in my son, like just be a father. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, you have to be a father. Okay, my question now, right? Because I see guys that's, that are fathers, mm -hmm. but are still paying child support. It happens. Now, I see people that's not fathers paying child support. It happens. I believe child support is actually a bad thing. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. let me tell you what my mother told me about child support. 
Child support is only a girl, a woman only takes a man of child support when he doesn't want to be with her no more. And he's finished. So she's being special. Right. Is that what you believe? Suspect. Sometimes, from, from a lot of times, what I see mm-hmm. is that. Outside of, there's times where you see a dude who may not do the shit on, like, may not be in the kid's life on purpose and just partying and doing shit like that. And the woman wholeheartedly is to take care of a child. I see that too. Mm-hmm. But then I also see a lot of, oh, you don't want to be with me, nigga? Okay, well, watch this. Mm-hmm. Snatch your check. Right? And then there's the chicks that's on welfare mm-hmm. who automatically, like, after a while, welfare be like, yeah, they have to um, what is the father doing? Mind you, the father may be in the life. Yeah. A lot of the times the father's in the, in the lives of the right. child, but it be welfare be like, um, you've been on this shit so long, what's the deal? But that's justified, and, I think. Yeah, it's wait, justified. Wait, wait, wait. But it only justified if, if the ladies, if the woman, no, no, I'm not trying to say this. Badly, but if the welfare, all right, I'm gonna keep it on me. When I was on welfare, I came home, mm-hmm. I was on welfare. As soon as I got a job, mm-hmm. they took me right off that motherfucker. Now I realize you're not supposed to be on welfare forever. Right. Nah. So if welfare is getting into your business, that means you've been sitting up not doing shit. That means, and that means that probably I mean, you've been living off it. You, you're off eating of it. off welfare and you're not doing shit and for it's yourself a, it's or a your scam children. Now, if, if if let's say we're a couple, I'm on welfare, welfare, and you're working every day, and you getting money, but I'm getting food stamps, and now they're requesting that I give you, I give them your information. It's justified, you know why? Because he's paying taxes for me to get food stamps, and you're working. It's not fair that now he's paying taxes for me to get food stamps, and you're working, and you're making money, and now y'all getting double money. You getting you getting his money and your money to okay. eat. You what, understand? But what are you? You I, I get Alba. I get that. I get that aspect. That's my whole thing. It's like, no, I okay, know that. A guy works, a female doesn't. Mm-hmm. He's paying child support because she's on welfare. You don't have to be on fucking welfare. Right. If you get your ass up and go do something with your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I understand you got kids, but kids get older, kids go to school, and I heard public schools. Is the best babysitter. No, and they have child care over <laughs> when, the, when the baby's a month old. Exactly. So sometimes it's a choice, you, and sometimes it's not. It depends so on the if you getting some, if you just on welfare, just trying to sit up on your fucking ass all day, mm-hmm. and you're gonna charge him for it, I think I really, cause I tell people all the time, welfare is not forever. Mm-hmm. You only use welfare as assistance until you get to where you gotta go, mm-hmm. or at least a motivated to get you where you fucking gotta go. You should not be on there forever. You should not be fucking taxing people. For I'm just saying. I just think the system is, is too many loopholes as to how, how it works. And sometimes and suffer. Sometimes child support is justified. Um, because there are a lot of people out there who make babies that, that, that choose to walk away. Right. Um, and then the mother is left defenseless. Um, it doesn't matter. And sometimes it's guys who will tell you they're doing everything to take try to take care of their kid. And she's only doing it because, you know, in their mind, she wants me. But it, it may not have anything to do with the guy. She's like, yo, I don't want you. No, it it may not be. She could be a working woman. It may not be welfare either. I don't want you. You may think I want you because that's your ego talking. I don't want you. I need that check because you're no, you're you're not doing anything for my kid, Uh, and you walked away from me and this kid. So if you, so all right, so you're saying child support is justifiable if the if the parent if the guy. Pretty much, cause I never heard. It happens both ways. It does. No, no, it, it happens. It does happen both if, ways. If, but if a lot one of times, parent is not pulling the weight. Right. All right. Right. I get it. If it, it has to be, it has to be a shared thing. It can't be, um, you know, oh, I'll give you a couple hundred dollars, and that should be enough. Because I'm saying that's all right. Enough. But what if I'm saying if I give you a couple hundred dollars, and I'm taking my kids when, whenever, like, let's say you work, and I'm still taking my kids, like. When they come home from school, I'm mm-hmm. taking them up or every day. I'm helping with their home. I'm doing this, and I'm sending them home to you at night. Mm-hmm. And then every other week, and I'm taking them. Would you still take me to child support? If I'm if I'm having a, a talk with you, and I'm telling you that that two hundred dollars you're giving me every month is not enough. No, not every month. Every week. Uh, okay, every week. But even however, you know, have you break it down? If I can tell you it's not enough, and I need more for, and I, I'm genuinely telling you to take care of the kids. It's not for my nails, not for a bag, not for my hair. It's for the kids. You know, I think a lot of times people assume that and it's not, it's, it's, it's justified because women do do it. They assume the woman wants to do it for themselves. But 
rent has to get paid these kids have to eat like sometimes people don't think about what a single parent has to go through and what they have to pay for to take care of a kid because the, the absent parent is not there to do it so they're not factoring in all of the little things that it takes to take care of a kid okay so you was in a single parent household yes i was you was in a single parent household mm -hmm. you couldn't tell because so, the way i was getting beat <laughs> when i did two ass whoopings oh sometimes. My. All right. <laughs> so like, how yeah. how important it is today to have so, a father both it's not it's not about i don't think you you need to have both parents in the home mm -hmm. <clears throat> as long as the child has both parents in their lives mm -hmm. and the, <clears throat> and the child knows <clears throat> this is my father rather than you know girls that bring oh this is uncle such and such or or me daryl or me pickle, pickle yeah, That's right. yeah. Right. you know <laughs> yeah <clears throat> or meet right. him this is such and such That's and bad. every month or every week you mm -hmm. see the shit on Facebook now, like a, a, a girl may have her son or her child around another guy, and six months later, it's a new guy. Mm -hmm. And right. then another six months, it's another. You don't want that cycle. The thing is, a lot of times, you gotta, motherfuckers that go through shit like that, they picking motherfuckers because of how they look. True. If you wanna have a kid with somebody, you really gotta do your fucking homework. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes, there's people out there who really do their homework and do background checks, um, internal checks, like mm -hmm. what the fuck is wrong with you, who in your family was a crackhead right. years ago, Damn. who had um, multiple sclerosis, who did whatever. You know, there's people out there that do that research to see what type of genes their child going to have mm -hmm. because a lot of times shit skips. Right. Like your great, great, great grandfather, grandmother could have been bipolar mm -hmm. in civil rights era, you know. Now your kid in 2000 and whatever is bipolar, but nobody in between that time no. is probably bop, was bipolar. Everybody right. probably successful mm -hmm. and shit like that. But unfortunately, some kids be bipolar. You like, where's number? You cheating on me, nigga? Mm -hmm. You slept with that crazy bitch from down the hall. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it be like that. I had a teacher, um, human sexuality, and she said a lot of time with her husband, she did that background check. Mm -hmm. She went to see what genes, like, how it broke down. That's crazy. Because that crackhead shit, like, you know, ad uh, is, addictive yeah, behavior. It's genetic. It can be genetic. So, right. you see, know, I, you got to do this that. This is why I've never, I've never but done not the, you, anything behind see, that. The, I'm, I'm still yeah. trying to think, like, to give you some type of advice on what nobody told me, Um, I would say be more of a parent than a friend. Mm -hmm. Right. Because a lot of times, motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm my... This, this is my best friend. Cool. Mm -hmm. no. But no that line. Best but but draw you know it, you can be best friends, you can be friends with your kid, but draw that line so they know when to come to you and be like, yo, pop, I fucked up. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, your, and your kid might say, come to you, let's see yo. He may tell you shit that he can't tell his moms. Right. Because and you want and you're gonna need that because there's a lot of shit a man is able to teach another man mm -hmm. that a woman can't, un right. unfortunately, and that's how it go. But society has, um, women have taught men, have you know, how to be men, mm -hmm. you know, and what you need to do is teach your son how to be a man. In every way possible, all this shit that you wasn't taught and you had to figure out on your own, teach him. And the internet will help you. You know what? You know what's so funny, Ralph? Because you know we grew up together pretty much. Right. And besides you, I noticed that a lot of my friends that didn't have their parents, like both parents, mm -hmm. a lot of them went to jail. And I realized that one dude that had both their parents never went to jail. Well, my mom's. Let me tell you, my mom's was on some shit. Like, um, she told us like, um, streets is two ways out. Like. She's, I'm not saying my mom's is hood, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if you sat down, my mom could write a book. Mm -hmm. One of them street legend books right. on some shit, you know, and, and she told me stories. So a lot of those stories was like, like she kept me from Creston. But you would, there's so much you can do to keep your child away from certain things. Yeah. I'm, 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 I feel, I, I tell you <coughs> no blame for that, Trev. No, it's not, it's not, no, I me. wanted to go, I wanted no, to go around still the corner go. because my brother went. Right. You know, what's that line? Um, Jay-Z said, 
my brother hustles so naturally yeah, up next with me. Yeah. So it's yeah. not about hustling, it's just about what is around this corner. My brother goes outside, like he's able to go. Mm -hmm. I want to be like my brother. I'm going around. I'm, when I got old enough, I want to do what he did. Mm -hmm. He went to Skate Key. When I get older, I'm going to skate. When I get older, I'm going to the tunnel. I'm, just, I'm doing this. See so, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't plan to have one child, so I plan to have another. Okay. So it's pretty much gonna be a tandem, them two. Let me tell you, what you do with your first child, you're not gonna do with your second child. I know yeah, that. Yeah, I told, your I first that. child is your experimental child. You're gonna mm -hmm. be doing all type of shit like you're gonna be learning shit like ah, I don't need to bring all these fucking toys. Your second child, that's you're what, gonna be like, yo, come on, son. That's yeah. I, I seen that because I, I you know my baby shower was well, my baby shower was big. Yes, right? very big, beautiful. Too. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah. But I told my I said, yo, the next baby, we gonna do that shit in the backyard. And see, that's and that's your first thing. You start <laughs> looking at the first thing you start looking at is how the fuck you gonna save money for the next one. Yeah. Right. Cause now you like, all right, this is a little too much. Yeah. Right. It was big because of the first one. Right. It's always gonna be second like one's that. gonna be big too, but I'm a cheap not that nigga. Big. And every year I tell my girl, I'm giving you five hundred dollars, make it work. It depends on it depends don't okay don't take Listen, that. you it saw depends. everybody hates Chris? It yeah. depends. I'm the father. It said, it said, depends on where you are in the the alarm clock. You don't need to see the time. You sleeping. <laughs> you I'm dead ass. My girl like sleeping with the TV on? Right. Man, when she falls asleep, I should go right over. I go in between the whole house cut off night lights. I cut the volume down on my son TV. <laughs> I'm doing everything. Oh if I could God. pull the plug out the refrigerator, I would. Oh my God. Yo, I'm telling you. I ain't gonna front. I'm, I, I just started this car that thing. I'm like, I'm good. I'm chilling. As soon as we got that deep freeze, that just got spiked. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Wait till summertime hit. Because when summertime hit, I just seen it. I'll be like, she just got a new AC. I said, I said what's that shit, AC? I said, God damn. You see dollar signs? She was big as hell. <laughs> this shit was a box. I was resting my bag on and shit like, she said, take that off. I said, what's that? It's AC. No, let me, let me tell you something. Damn. Let me tell you something. That shit going right You don't need pocket. advice for your kid. You need advice for your woman. Mm -hmm. Go to the store with them. Go to the fucking store with them. Why? Go to the hardware store. Go to the plant. When they buying big shit like that, oh. be there. Make it your business to be there. If they ordering, what the fuck are you doing? What is that? <laughs> Why do we need that? Because mm. y'all might pick up some shit we already have. Mm. That's how I go. Let me let me give you some advice that, that nobody told me okay. as a parent going into it. The main thing is that there are no rules to this. Yeah. That no matter what doctor, what manual, what you read in a book, your child may not fit the mold for whatever they tell you oh, yeah. he is supposed to be doing. Uh... And that's the main thing. To so, like, you can have guidelines for what's supposed to happen, but expect your child to always be itself. Never to just put them in that box to say, "Oh, you're supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be." Because I see so many people, um, and because I think it's because I have a kid with special needs, my oldest son. So when I, you know, I I know like the for every stage what the kid is supposed to be doing because right. I kind of obsessed over it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I see a lot of parents compare their kids to other kids. So now that I have a baby, a toddler. People are like, oh, how old is she? She's doing that? Oh, my kid is. And I'm like, don't do that. Because a doctor would tell you, oh, your kid is supposed to be doing this and doing that. Or oh, by this time, it should be. And so you got that out of a book. Yeah, out right. of a book. Your kid is not out of a book. My man Hope told me a long time ago. Right. Your kid is not out of a book. So a don't. A book could don't, guide you, but a, with your heart defines you. Right. Do not do not put your, 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 like, don't bank on whatever everybody else is telling you trust your own instincts for one even if a doctor is talking to you your own instincts will trump whatever a doctor is ever course, telling you of course because so many times a doctor will tell you oh no it's nothing wrong but in your heart you're like something is wrong i feel it run with your own gut um and and, and let your kid blossom by yeah. your standard and not by what everybody else says of course. they're right. supposed to do. i mean i i'm what i'm so happy about that my girl she's she's mad though and like I see how, when I see her when she was dealing with your son, mm. you know, that's when I looked at. Her, I'm like, oh, she, she, she's really gonna be oh, a good mother. A good mother. Yeah, but I got, I got some shit for you though. I got some shit for you. 
I got some shit for you because you pulled, you did that bullshit. Uh -oh. You know what you did. You know what you did. Oh, I can't wait for you no, to have this shit. We didn't know. We don't know. know. Oh, I didn't. I've been waiting for this. Oh, your mom's bird, your mom, I got some shit for you. Christmas. Word. <laughs> it's on. See it's now, this, this is an ongoing beef. It's not no beef. It's not no beef. It's, it's a not beef. no beef. It's a beef. It's beef. Nah, it's no beef. It's no beef. beef. It's a beef. Because I know you. Ooh, when you see this, it's on. It's oh, on site. It's on site. It's, it's, it's on site. 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 It's I spent six hundred dollars. He's gonna be six months. He can't do shit. I don't care. <laughs> she pull it. Oh, yo, she bought my man a drum set. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't wait to get him. Yeah, I can't wait. Yo, you know, I was funny. holding that and for oh, yo, you know what's so funny? Yeah, we was in Vegas. We was in Toys R Us, right? And I'm like, why? Wow. I told, I told, oh my god, because I, I, I know his son. It's oh, all right. I love his son. And he's like, yo. You can buy me a toy. And I'm like, yo, listen, you tie your sneakers in front of me, mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy you a toy. Right. And from from what I hear, he's been trying to get busy with the sneakers. My son learned how to tie a shoe in a, in a, in a half an hour. Cause I, cause I Everybody told that. him, if you could tie your shoe, I'll get you a toy. He got like five people about to buy a toy. And you just told a story about how he was worried about how he was gonna learn no, how to tie No, let me shoe. tell you. I would try to show him how to tie, went on the end of neck. I'm like, damn, nobody no. showed me how to tie my shoe. He just wanted to bank you. He's a manip manipulator. <laughs> so, right, it's so, crazy. Crazy. so, 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 I, I came home that night. They Munster like, yo, yeah, he was tying the shoe right there and on the spot. I'm like, well, all right, so he tried, he got me. So I'm in toy the rest early. I'm like, damn, I'm like, look at that little guitar. Munster said, don't, don't buy on the guitar. We already got beef with them. <laughs> we already got beef. <laughs> Don't buy no guitar. That's the I'm like, yo, what did you do? She said, drum set. I said, yeah. why would you buy him that? She yeah. said, because she was just... I'm like, oh, now you got me to mix with this. You're going to learn too. What That's why I got great beats. I'm going to be right in the spot like this. Mm -hmm. Playing my game like this. You, you Rock can't, on, you boy. You can't put the baby to him when it's a baby, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to take them drinks off. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. my God. It's on. Oh my God! Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going in. Yeah, that's that's. The I point. might order an electric guitar for them. You gonna it's see you playing it more than him. Like, <laughs> that's all right. I'm gonna get focused. You gotta order a, a bunch of like lullaby toys or something. I mind that. that I mind that toy it. that they had a toy store with that little monkey with the tambourine. <laughs> bang bang. Go on that. that. Phil go kick down my damn house. That's all right. <laughs> talking about. That's no, all wait right. your money on she that. She know what time it is. I pull the batteries oh out. My God. She know what time it is. But now, um, you gonna be because it it really takes two parents. You know what I mean? It does. Um, two good parents. Two yeah. good, two sensible motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Not these bitches that be in the club that like a nigga because you got a nice outfit. And then you try to get to know the nigga six months later. You tell the nigga, oh, I'm pregnant. You think he gonna be around because he got a nice outfit. Right. Blah, 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 blah. She don't know his man outfit. And then you be in welfare with the nigga. Right. And then he leave you. That's bad. And, and know, then there's a child like that. support like, case. That's so, how it happens. So you, yeah. you good. Like, that's the main thing you really got to watch out for. Hmm. Is picking the person you're going to have a child with. Like, look at, really look at the person you're with and understand that person and the qualities that they already have. Hmm. And then you do your, your pros and cons, but you already did that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. That's the hard part. She's then, a, she's a real home. Like she really takes care of the house, and that's all. That's all somebody needs. Somebody. Somebody's gonna take care of the house. Like I don't. I go home t-shirts and shit. Like I bought you t-shirts because you need some t-shirts. Yeah, my, mm -hmm. my girl does that too because you just need something to t-shirt like that. I need. I'm like, yeah, I'm running out of door. We got five doors in the cabinet. I think you bought five urines. So I bought two and She's I bought three more. Ten steps ahead of you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I like that. That's because, you know, that's, that's All I'm going to say is thing. buy you a box of Pampers every week. That's what I'm about to do. Yeah, yeah, coupons. That too. Because we got we got all kind of Pampers in there. I mean, his all closet, sizes, right. all sizes right now. We, just like with the clothes, he got different sizes. But while, he, while he's small in the months, yeah. I don't know how the numbers are. One, I think it's one. Bottom shits. Mm -hmm. Every week, if you can, buy like at least yeah. two boxes a week. All right. Well, you know, BJ is close to me, so I'm not. Right. I, I mean, um, other than that, like you could, you know. But this is de this, it's definitely war. This is it's, it's, it's exciting. War. It's it exciting, war. man. Oh, it's gonna be exciting when I buy that motherfucking DJ equipment. 
I mean, I'll be with him. With the, with the big I'm party. a rap boy and shit. With the big speaker. I already speaker. told my girl, my son going to come out the room talk about, I'm Jax, Mr. Magic City. That's all right. You know that color purple man. And I'm going to be the hype man, man like Bustin' Rhymes to Spliff Star. I'm going to be that nigga. She name. know my boy oh going to be, he going to be talented, he going to be gifted, he going to be everything. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure of that. Yeah, and just read to him, too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that every night. I want to do that every day. Yeah. That's you, why I'm you glad. too, in front of him. That yeah. way you yeah, see man. it. Yeah. yeah. Anything. I don't give a fuck if it's exactly. the back of the box. I was so right. amazed when my mother, she read a whole book to me one day. I was, on a Sunday, I'm just sitting there, she's just reading. Mm-hmm. You can you remember that. Yes. I saw she read a whole book. Mm-hmm. That was the most oh. amazing shit I ever seen. But you it, wasn't no little, it wasn't no Bernstein Bear book right. either. You got to read the Bernstein Bears. It was a little book. It was a matter of fact, I'm gonna be totally honest. It was an Adam Family movie book. See? I mean, I mean, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Your son is gonna be a mama's boy. So you really ain't got no wins in your house. Mm. No. I already said nah. No. So. Yeah. Cause it's gonna be me against her and him, him and, and the cat, cat right? Mm-hmm. But you know, I can fuck the cat up. <laughs> she ain't gonna, you're, not, you're not gonna be fighting her cat. I no, I know, but, but oh my God. I threw that cat every day. I already said it today Cause, earlier. Cause, I said, I'm gonna punch your whiskers right off your face. Because she Sheba oh got, you know, remember Sheba from the um, commercial? Yeah, that's the cat. That's the cat. Yeah. cat the cat, the cat is disrespectful. The she cat. ain't doing commercials no more, that's why. She ain't doing, she, she disrespectful. Mm. She comes in. I come in from work and she acts like she was working all day. I'm just trying to eat my food. She wanna fuck with me. Get your ass away from She missed you. I gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to her through my teeth all the time. Get your ass. That's she. That's she a her voice. She, you're ready. I'm practicing you're on ready. the. I'm practicing on the cat. You ready? She everybody know. I be like, get your ass. She look around like, oh, what's this nigga bugging? Right. She know what time it is. Right. So. It's a beautiful thing. You're gonna be good. I mean, yeah, you're I'm you're gonna be fine too. because yeah. whatever we didn't have is what you're gonna give your son. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. And, and and I'm not talking about materialistic shit. I'm talking about family values and morals and shit like that. So mm-hmm. you're gonna be fine. You know. So there's really like like I said, there really ain't no fucking rules to no parenthood. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing I can tell you to be like, don't do that shit. Yeah. You Wait, know, it's, it's, it's it, that though. shit might work. The shit I'm telling you not to do might work with your kid. You know, yeah, every black like, everybody's different. You just gonna have to learn your kid. But still, your ask. kid definitely gonna learn fucking you, mm-hmm. yeah. and he gonna learn you quicker than you learn him. But ask for advice. Cause your your old ass ain't gonna grow no more and get. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna grow. You gonna keep changing. Right, mm-hmm. you die. All right, question, quick question. When you find out your son is fucking, when you find out oh, your son shit. is fucking, <sighs> what are you gonna do? I tell you that on episode three thousand. <laughs> 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 It'd be fucking. Hello. I'm, I think I'm the type. Of, it depends on the age. It yeah, depends on close to fucking. Uh-huh. He thirty. Uh-huh. Had a fucking oh, no, stage. See, Somebody uh, saw him something. I think. Dick, but, but I think because of his special needs, I don't have to worry about that for a while. I'm what about another special needs girl suck his dick? Now I'm gonna beat the shit out of special ass. Don't do that. Do I'm that. sorry. Why y'all got me talking like this? Look. Don't. don't no. Ask you a I'm not ready for that. Me. No. I'm not you ready. You better be starting to get ready. I, I felt like because of his delays, I had time. Because y'all trying to get ready for the entrance. Your oldest may not get the pussy first. It might be. No. It's gonna be the night. Because he right. already, he already, he, he might get your older listen, some pussy. He right. might. He's so that, that type of guy. My brother off. He's mm-hmm. that type of guy. What you gonna do? And if you come then, through, you see your son you know running he, train on something. And then you know he, no, a, you know your son is non-verbal, <laughs> so he getting the dick side. He like, mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh my god. And now you're all hitting him from the back. I'm talking everybody up. Everybody, everybody in the house is getting beat. <laughs> you mean your daughter? Call ACS, call the cops, call whoever you're calling. Everybody in the house is getting why, beat why that day. Like this is human nature. It's not at third. Why? It's not. Not in my house. No. no. Play, you no. know what I would tell you to do, though? Play like Nas, Illmatic. Yo, bro. Play, um, all he that shit. All that flash shit. You know what I mean? Um, my girl, she ain't a music fan like that. I'm not so worried about my son having that. sex. I know he's going to have sex. Mm-hmm. Like, I know I know my son going to be a ladies' man. I really ain't really know. Right. I'm also going to hang out with you. Because I take him to school sometimes, and, and they're going to hate train. Right. I'm like, this. I got girls calling my son across the street. Amir! I'm like, oh, who the no. fuck is that? Well, my son, when, no, when he wore the cologne, no. it was like, Oh shit! I heard he got some shit too. Yeah, my um, what happened? My my brother gave my nephew 
some cologne, right? Right. So my nephew. What kind of cologne is this? Farragamo. This is the shit I'm talking so, about. I don't got Farragamo. I want so, an adult. So <laughs> We're about to have a kid with two jobs. Yeah. Right. Two fucking jobs. My, I can't afford Farragamo. My nephew. That my nephew had kid. like when he came up from down south. We went to my mother's house, and they was playing. And my nephew my Messiah, mm-hmm. he was like, Trey, here. Here's here's some cologne. Right, so I'm like, oh, my brother's always been good with like, mm, yeah. not like a bunch of shit. So my son got Ferragamo cologne. One day, we getting ready for school. He nigga sprays on himself. See, I called him nigga again. He sprays on himself. He comes out the room. Mommy, how I smell? She said, what do you mean? So you got on cologne? I said, oh yeah. Mommy, he put it on his jacket. He had it on his jacket. <laughs> so it's on his jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Who you wearing cologne for, la 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 la? Nobody, I just want to want put cologne on. Alright, so I'm laughing. Next day, mm-hmm. so I'm like, Trey, you wearing cologne, you want to put on cologne? I got to show you how to wear cologne. He said, like, alright, cool. The next day, I'm hyping it. I'm whatever. It's my man. Mm. Look, you do three sprays right. and you rub it. You rub it on your clothes because I don't know how it's going to affect your skin. Mm-hmm. He said, alright, back. Put it on her. She heated. Tight. I don't care. It's eight in the morning. Ready, sons? Go to school. Right? He said, so get from school. I said, hi. Right. Did they smell you? Mm-hmm. He said, yeah, I'm smelling good. I said, all right, bet. Third day. Now, but my, he, he's reminding me, Daddy, I think one day we forgot the cologne. Oh. He said, Daddy, you, we forgot to put my cologne on. Oh, that shit. He on. Yeah, he on it now. I see. I know I'm going to get for his birthday. So I'm like, I was like, yeah. Come on, man. So get the whole home. shit. He was wearing cologne. Like, he has, he stopped recently, but he put that cologne on. I said, did the girl smell? It, like, it, it builds his confidence. One, two, so. and then the wrist. Then he nah, I don't, I don't put it on his skin. Just put it on his clothes. Mm-hmm. So I said, this is what you do. You put on your clothes. You put it on the front. You put it on the back. Because mm-hmm. you depend on what girl you stand next to or behind. Right. They can smell it. Shut up, Trevor. This is what you tell me. Said you shut up. <laughs> gotta tell him how to do it. But it's it's gonna be fun though. Like it's I, fun. This is the yeah. last thing I'm gonna bring up. I think no. this is the piggyback off of that. The main thing that you wanna do too is mm-hmm. build up your child's confidence oh, from absolutely. the beginning. Right. My daughter right now, I, she's talking already, she's nineteen months, she's one, she's nineteen months. Um but she knows now when she does stuff, we praise her. When she gets, she puts her clothes on, she goes, oh, I'm pretty. And she wants people to acknowledge her beauty. And not only that, she when she sees other kids that are cute, she goes, oh, nice, pretty. She is yeah. confident already. Yeah, that's beautiful. And she exudes it to other people. When she, she's, she knows to tell people, uh-huh. you look nice. That's when I put lipstick on, makeup. She's like, mommy, if I do my hair, you're so pretty. That's beautiful. She understands what it means to be confident and to do certain things a certain way to boost her confidence. I think it's important that you do that from early on. Words of affirmation. You're awesome. You're cool. You're smart. You're this. Not just like the outside stuff, but like your your the internal stuff. Okay, Sunny, but. My mom always said my tooth was the magic tooth, and this shit wasn't magic. Right, well, you got you get braces for now. I don't even worry about that. But you she know, four braces back. But man. you know what I tell my son? <laughs> she said it's the magic tooth, and this but, shit wasn't but, magic. This shit was you, just a vocal point for people to try to snap on me. I got my skills up off that, but still no. So it, it, it wasn't did magic. magic. It worked for you. Fucking magic. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I tell my son? My son get braces immediately. Oh, so stop find out like, what's going on. Slap him on there. Yeah, you got the you got the good cover. But you know I tell my son, cause you know people like you know he's cute, he's cute. I, but I tell him like, look, your looks complement your brain. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't focus on your looks, right. brother, because I tell him son, you 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 smart. Right. Mm-hmm. You already got that. You got right. that manipulation down pat. When you right. get to, when you when you get that knowledge in you, that manipulation plus the knowledge. Mm-hmm. Take your ass a long way. Right. Plus the looks, yeah. You already got the look. Don't worry about that. Focus on your brain. That's what yeah. I tell them. You know, the your looks stuff. complement your brain. Right. You know, I always tell him that. I've been telling him that since he was little. He don't understand, but. I think understand. and that's important too because a lot of times I don't think kids get told <coughs> things about how they look or how they should present themselves if they're smart. If they, if they should, they, you gotta praise your kids basically. Right. Whatever it is Pretty that much. they do, even if they're not the smartest kid, praise yeah. them. Whatever, you, you, yeah. whatever it is, praise them, praise them, praise them, praise them, praise them. Give them positive, positive words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. 
my kids, we got handshakes. All of us got different handshakes we do with each other. So my son be trying you know to do that, like, that shit, and we all have come to one. He didn't need a fresh prince and shit. No, but it's cool though. It builds morale. You know what I'm saying? And it's a it's a respect thing. So all of that stuff, and you'll get it, and you'll you'll make up your own little weird thing yeah, that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why my boy. A lot of the shit that he don't know is in him. I'm gonna know it's in him because it's in me. Right. So I guess on that note, like we covered everything with regarding our childhood. And well, guess I mean, yeah, yeah. We pretty much we pretty good. I just know that um. My boy gonna be here, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna be different. And I go front. No, you definitely I, this, definitely. I was telling my girl this yesterday. I said this podcast and the fact that I'm about to have a child, it kind of sensitized me in a way mm-hmm. because I I care a lot more about things that I didn't fucking care about. Before. This is therapy. Mm-hmm. Kind of like therapy, right? Right. Like you said, that kind of like therapy. And you know, I feel like I'm becoming a better man at it. Mm-hmm. And that's all I care about. All, all I care about is being a, a better man than I was yesterday. Well, you're definitely going to be a different man in a week and a half. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. It, yeah, it, it yeah, happens. Buddy. So, um, on that note, I guess this is episode 12 of the Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen. But before we go, before we say say, say goodbyes and, and see you next week. Right. We got to say happy birthday to executive producer of the show, uh, Miss Taylor. That's your oh, mom's last name. Oh, that's your mom's last name. Miss who? Acorn. Acorn. Oh, Miss Acorn. Sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You know, um, I hope yeah. you like the episodes. I hope we're getting better. Um, you need to come on the show. All right. I know. Um, your son ain't gonna like that, but oh well. <laughs> so, happy birthday, Miss Acorn. Um, we see you. You know, tell us how you. You know what you think. Um, enjoy your day. You know, I know Doug got you something real nice. Yes, I you hope better, you did. You better yeah. had to. So, um, on that note, <laughs> we see you next week for 13. Yes. 13. Lucky right. number 13. Yeah, we, we be teenagers. Yeah. yeah. We be teenagers next week. Yeah. So, <laughs> keep join us next week. Um, Poop, what you got going on? Uh, just waiting. Just waiting. Waiting, waiting. Tell you what you got going on. I'm hoping to hit the lottery. Okay. I'll be <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just writing. I'm working. I'm working on my my blog pages on Instagram. Um, FM Hip Hop Radio. Um, this. I'm just, I'm just working. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. I got, um, I got a Memorial Day show on my radio station. Uh, work Monday. What time y'all doing it, man? Twelve o'clock. I don't know. You got work? Nope. Come, 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 come through. Let me come through. Yeah, come through. Come through. Facts. Come through. Facts of life. Yeah. I'm definitely going to pull up. Yeah, come through. I'm, I'm, when I get to the train, I'll call you. Facts. I'll so, be there. so, Munch, he come with me. He's going to be on the radio <laughs> um, hey, Monday. Facts. Memorial Day. We're about to get busy. Live, All right, um, like I said, join us next week, episode 13 <laughs> with teenagers. So, on that note, thank you for all the support. And remember, hate is still support. That's right. And we Bad. love y'all still. Uno.